Hi my friends, in the previous video we talked about mathematical operations in Python and then in this video we are going to talk about comparison operators. We use some operators for comparison in Python and then we are going to learn what and how we compare them. So let's get started by examining them right now. When we write applications in the future we will use these operators a lot. The I write print function as usual. By the way, you may wonder that why I always use the print function because you know it is the best learning method. It gives a results uh, to the operations we do. I mean, it prints something in the console, so we we can we can check what we are doing. That's why I always use the print function. Okay, let's go back to our subject. First of all, I would like to go through a scenario in order to establish more logic. For example, we have blood tests done in hospitals and uh, our blood values come out within a certain range. But it doesn't matter if the value is too high or low for the computer. There are certain accepted blood values and uh, it is important for us to know that the values are less or greater than the accepted values. For example, I delete the print function for now and I will declare a variable. So let's say our test result. You can give any name and then let's say I don't know 25. And I'm going to declare one more variable which is the blood value that is considered normal by the doctors. So let's say normal test results. And then let's say I don't know 20. Now we are going to compare these two values. First of all, let's ask Python whether our blood value is greater than the normal value. So to do that, I need a print function again. We will use greater than sign. So the, the print function here, we can write the, the, the comparison inside it. So first, the, our test result greater than normal test result. So first, we are going to check that. Here, Python is going to do this comparison and if our blood value is greater than the normal value, it will print true or false. So let's see the result. I run it. Look at the terminal. The result is true because you know, the uh, blood value, I mean uh, our blood value our test results is greater than normal value. Our test result is 25 and the normal test result is 20. We can also change the question. Well, uh, let's ask the Python if our test result is less than normal test result. If we run that, result is false. Because, you know, the our test result is not less than the normal test result. Before going on, I want to say that we can use more than one comparison here. I want to show you, I will declare a new variable. So let's say max or mean value. And uh, I say 10. I can also use this variable for comparison. So I can say mean value and like something like that. If we run this code, I want to show you, this result will be false. Because you know the, the, the condition here, the, the test value, the our test value must be greater than 10 because we have a condition here. So it's true. If I just write like that, if I delete it, it will be true. Because, you know, the our test result is greater than mean value. But here, our test result, it is greater than normal test result. But if I change the our test result from 25 to 15, it will be print true, as you can see. But if I change mean value from 10 
to let's say 16 we will get false here because this condition became false you know the mean value is 16 but our text result is 15 you need to do some practice to understand what we are doing here now it's time to take a look at the usage of equals so i will delete all of them and uh, i will clean the print function here i declare a new variable so let's say max value and uh, let's say 100 and now i will uh, declare a new variable so let's say our value our blood value let's say our blood value is also 100 so if we want to do some comparison here for example let's say our blood value is greater than max value if we run this code we get false because they are both 100 but if i change max value from 100 to 99 and if i run it again i get true however i want to include 100 into comparison so if i change it to 100 again so i will get false but i want to include 100 uh, in the comparison so how can we do that we can do that using a call so if i run it again from now on we will get the result true if if the our blood value is greater or equal to max value so keep that in your mind we will use them a lot now i will delete the operator here i just have a call let's talk about the equals operator here we want to find out that if two values are equal to each other so if we write it in this way and if we try to run it we get an error because you know in python we just use single echoes when assigning variables so to compare these two values we need to use double echoes here and that if i run this code we get true if I change any of these variables, so let's say uh, 5, and if I run it again, we got false. So in short, we use double equals to check if two values are equal to each other. Now I want to talk about the operator that answers the question of not equal. If we use the exclamation and the echo together that means not echo and the, for example if i change the echo to exclamation and i will delete it we ask the python that aren't they echo are not the echo and the, the answer is true or false so if i run this code we get true because they are not equal to each other the all blood value is 100 and the max value is 5 so they are not equal to each other so the answer is true that can be confusing at first but you can be sure that you will get used to it after a while so don't try to learn everything at once now I am going to do a little puzzle with you so I delete everything here I will I will declare a few variables so let's say a is 1 b equal to a and uh, a equal to 5 and then I want to print the variable a I want you to think that what value do you think we are going to see in terminal if I run this code I think you guessed it so I run this code so we get 5 here as we expected but if I run B here I want you to think it for a while so I run it again 
we get one here. Let's try to understand why it painted one. So we will try to understand it. The most important thing to know in Python is that Python code is executed from top to bottom. So it starts from top and then it goes to bottom. I mean Python works like I put the mouse down. So if we try to understand what Python does, so it, it starts here. So first it, uh, it assigns the one to this variable. So I mean the, the Python read this code first. And then it came here because you know that the Python works from top to bottom. So it it came here and then the value was one here so it assigned it to variable b so uh, the variable b became one and then python came here so the, the variable a was one so we updated here so the variable a became five but the important point here is that there is no relation between this A and this A. Python cannot update this variable here. Because what we said, we said Python uh, executes from top to bottom. So, so we can change the variable B from bottom. The value of B is still 1 we couldn't change it from bottom. That's why we painted it. I hope you understood what I said. There is another issue that I want to mention, which is converting data types between each other. We mentioned that in the previous video, but while we were examining the operators, I would like to mention it again. If you haven't watched the previous video, I recommend you to watch it first. Now I, I declare two variables here, so let's say number 1, 100 and the number 2, 100. I want to know that, do you think that number 1 and the number 2 are the same in I of Python? So we can see that we learned a comparison operators, we can say number 1 equal to number two if i run it we got false because what we said in the previous video when we write a string expression python doesn't care what is in it for python 100 doesn't mean anything as numeric in in eye of python there are only characters here so they are not likely to be equal to each other. In the previous video, we had converted from string to integer. But can't we convert from integer to string? Of course, we can do that. So let's learn how to do it. First, we need to write str and open parentheses. We need to write the expression or the variable that we want to convert into string. So in our case, we want to convert the number 2 to string. So I need to write its name and uh, I need to assign it again. So if you don't know why I assign it again, you need to watch the previous video. But in short, we update the variable. I want you to guess what we will see in terminal if I run it. So let's run it again the result is true because we converted the integer to string and the you know their context became the same so they are equal to each other i want to repeat it one more time this number one variable is uh, a string and which contains 100 it is just like a, a character it's not a numeric value for python and the number number two is an integer variable it contains 100 and it is completely numeric but then we convert the number two variable to, num to number two integer 
to string and then we assign it we update it again here and uh, when we do the comparison we get the result true and uh, the last question is if I add a space here what will be the output if I run it let's see the result is false because now the contents of these two variables are not the same they both have 100 inside it but one of them has extra space so they are not equal to each other as I said in the first video the space has a value in uh, I of Python I will end the video here I hope it was explanatory if you didn't understand something you can send me an email or specify it in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next video